Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Today is day 24. Tomorrow we will be one quarter of the way through the 100 day project. And you suffering with me making 100 hearts. <laughs> so, happy St. Patrick's Day. And in honor of St. Patrick's Day, I am making a green heart again, and I am uh, making a shamrock. So I don't know, oops, light, I need a light. Hold on, sorry you're jiggling. The light and the camera arm are on the same table. Oh, look at that. Look how much better we can see now. <laughs> Oh, prior and proper preparation prevents poor, poor performance. Obviously, I did not prepare well prior, even though I tried. So, I hope this finds everybody well and enjoying your St. Patrick's Day. don't know if I like that or I want to go the other way, as usual. Hmm. I'm going to try the other way. don't know if I want to do this kind of stitch or... And if I could figure out the blanket stitch without doing it on an edge, I would probably try that. But um, I struggle. I struggle with the blanket stitch just being on an edge. I always start it wrong. I'm always going in the wrong direction. It's just really, my brain can't seem to handle it. I don't know why. Anyway, as I was going to say, I don't know if you're aware, oopsies, I'm thinking a running stitch along the edge of this. I just hope that it holds whatever might fray. <laughs> Although I don't see anybody using this as a patch, probably. So it probably won't ever get put through the laundry. Actually, I'm going to do a back stitch. So I probably should have used regular sewing thread for this too as well. But that's okay. Embroidery floss it shall be. So I don't know if you know this, but the whole four leaf clover lucky thing was created by Americans, not the Irish. <laughs> and I only found that out recently myself, so just goes to show what a good Irish girl I am. Not. So this shall be a three-leaf clover. And I am perfectly happy with that because I don't think I could have made a four-leaf clover. So I will tell you how I'm making the clover, if you notice, it looks like a heart. And I went on to the Google. Why do people call it that? Why do people call it the Google? Or the I-10? Or the, I don't know. I just, that that's something new that I started hearing in the last probably 10 years. Especially about the interstate being the I-10. Um... Anyway, never did figure that out. So I went on to Google and I typed in, uh, I think I typed in three leaf clover image drawing. And because I put the drawing part in there, I think that's why it pulled up what it did. And it showed how to draw a three-leaf clover. And basically, it said, draw a heart, draw a heart, draw a heart. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, since we're doing hearts, why not? I thought that was pretty clever. In fact, I think, let me see if I closed the image link or not. Okay. 
three leaf clover image drawing is what I put in. And where is it? No. Well, that's interesting. Oh, here it is. It's right at the top. See this image here? And it's showing, it's showing how to draw a three leaf clover. They're hearts. Well, actually that's a four leaf clover, but we're not doing four. So I thought that was pretty clever. And since we can do hearts, because we've been making hearts by folding a piece of paper in half and drawing a half a heart, our whole lives for school projects and whatever, I thought that should be easy enough. Now, that being said, my three little hearts didn't come out all that even, but that's okay. Here we go with my, um, my little slanted back stitches again. You would think stitching would improve the more you do it, and it probably does for everybody else. I don't know why I struggle. Today is a rather cloudy day. And even though it wasn't supposed to, it's been sprinkling off and on. Which is good for the birds and the animals and stuff like that. It, not enough to put any water really on the ground. What, what it has dropped is dries up quickly anyway. Yesterday was an absolutely beautiful day and... I tried to do a video, but we went to see Blue yesterday, and we got a late start, and we had to run two errands in town on our way back home. We didn't eat lunch until, I think it was close to 1.30 before we ate lunch, had to come home and make lunch. Gone are the good old days when we just used to go to Chick-fil-A or whatever and buy lunch and just come home, eat it, and, you know, be on our merry way doing whatever was next. We don't do that anymore. So, we ran our two errands in two different stores. We went into a, a farm co-op store that's in town. They had all the little chicks in there because it's chick season. All chirping away under the warm lights. That's always fun to hear. And so we came home and ate and I had to throw a load of laundry in because blue snotted all over my shirt <laughs> and I wanted to get that stain out immediately so by the time I sat down and started trying to do a video it was about almost four o'clock and I thought well that gives me an hour to try and get a video done but the video went long. My project went long. I should say that. The project went long. The video did not go long. I ended up having to stop the video, get dinner, um, and by the time I got done, it just, it just didn't work. I just needed to get the heart done and kind of just you know, uh, just get on with the project. <laughs> so I wasn't trying to, you know, get it done all night. OK, 
Okay, thread. I need to behave. There we go. Oopsies. I'm trying to even my threads back up again because somewhere along the way they're separated and they're not cooperating with each other. And then today I pulled out the green fabrics that I had up here in my workspace and I started putting them together and I didn't like it and then I put three others together and I didn't like it and so I just decided that um, I would go downstairs and pull out whatever other green fabric I have and there's some colors I haven't worked with a whole lot over the years I don't know if you have that in your stash if you have certain colors that you lean towards just naturally you just have that you know that color in your more of that color in your stash I have a I have probably I'm pretty sure I have almost just about every color that there is not a lot of every color but some sort of fabric you know in most colors so I am lucky that way but I tend to treat my fabric stash very much like it's precious like um, sorry I'm moving the light trying to get away from the shadows um, like oh I don't want to use this I've had it forever well yeah you've had it forever get rid of it <laughs> make room for more if that's the way it goes so yeah so I did go downstairs but I couldn't do that until after lunch because we went grocery shopping this morning and we picked up a lunch and brought it home there's only one place that will really I mean we've gone into restaurants and sat down and had lunch a few times but most restaurants, our choices are very limited because we eat mostly plant-based. There's some processed food we eat, but it's not a lot, and it's uh, usually pretty clean ingredients. But with restaurants, I'm very picky about the oil they use, um, we don't use any dressings that they have. Sometimes I bring my own oil and vinegar. If we're going somewhere and having a salad, um, we can get a baked potato if they don't put butter or oil or anything on it, stuff like that. So anyway, we're, we're pretty limited, but there is one restaurant called Kava. And I know they're spreading up and down the East Coast, but I know also know that they're not very, they, they are not, available west of here okay again should have started at the bottom so I could have gone right on to the next one but I don't think ahead sometimes anyway um so we stopped and got kava because it's a treat not to have to make lunch every day and the lunch that we get from kava we get a a bowl to go, a build your own bowl to go. And that um, one bowl, Tony gets a bowl, I get a bowl. We each get our own bowl. And I'm going to put this little guy on first. Right there. Um, one bowl will last us three days. So we split, we take out what we want for the day, for today's lunch, and then the rest of it we put in a glass container, and we'll keep it for tomorrow and Sunday. 
So I don't have to make lunch pretty much for three days. Although we do add, uh, Tony adds some things to his, I add some things to mine. We each have extra avocado and we usually have soup with it. So soup that we make here at home. So it's um, very filling and it's all vegetables, all fresh cooked, if they're cooked vegetables and fresh garden vegetables. So, and it's funny, sometimes we go and we get a really generous serving, like three, three days. If I wanted it to, it could probably last me four, but I eat it all in three. So, um, And sometimes we go, especially if the manager is working the counter, we don't get so much in the bowl. <laughs> Funny how that works. But we were there early, and the fun part was that I think there was only one other couple in there that was eating. And we don't eat there. We bring it home. But... The, the food was all like you could tell it had all just been prepared and put out and it was fresh and all the bins you know everything was full sometimes if we go kind of late you know 12 30 ish or something then it's not always that way like you're getting the bottom of whatever's <laughs> whatever's there before they refill it again and usually what happens is I'll get whatever's left in a uh, in the serving area in a certain section, and then Tony will want the same thing, and they'll bring a fresh one out, and he'll get the fresh. Never fails. And there's been many times we come home, and because he lets me go first in line, maybe I need to start changing that now that I think about it, but um. <laughs> he he often comes home with a bowl that's much fuller than mine and he only gets like one or two things that are more than I do and they're small things so it shouldn't matter that much but anyway I find it kind of humorous this is ugly and I'm not happy with it but it is what it is I should have stitched it like I did the top piece but that's okay. Is what it is. Who knows? I might tear it out. Start over after I turn off the video. But anyhow. It's always it's always good and fresh food. And, like, my bowl consists of lettuce, uh, jasmine rice, black lentils, um, roasted vegetables, and then the cold stuff they put on top is corn, tomatoes with red onion, and cucumber. That's all I get. That's it. That's all I get. Tony gets... A little more than I do. He gets hummus and he gets, um, what are they called? He gets red onions, but they've been like pickled, pickled red onions. And I think that's the only other things he gets that I don't. And then we come home and add avocado. We split an avocado and he has half and I have half. And he'll add like, we get the already shredded coleslaw blend that you can buy in, in a baggie. He'll put some coleslaw, some cabbage and, you know, it's just sliced cabbage and carrots. So that worked out well. As far as thread is concerned, 
I'm not crazy about those stitches, but looks more like a cactus <laughs> than a stem to a <laughs> to a uh, clover, but that's fine. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. So what else is happening? Um, I did pre. Prepare. Pre prepare? Pre prepare? <laughs> Is there such a thing as pre preparing? <laughs> oh, Lordy, I cracked myself up. My thread, I split it. two strands, two strands, and two strands. Let's see if I can get this to not separate like the other one was. Sometimes if you just wet the thread, they stick together. Sometimes not. Okay. Onward and upward. Okay. So, yesterday was blue and running errands and trying to do a video but ended up canning it after after a while and today was grocery shopping oopsies and we don't have anything planned for the weekend. Don't know if we're staying home or we'll go out and do something. Probably stay home. We stay home most weekends. Trying to avoid crowds. Hmm. That was interesting. I saw a couple interesting stitches on line today. Someone actually stitched a three-leaf clover, which was very interesting. Not quite sure I understood exactly what she was doing. I watched it a couple times. I didn't save it. I should have. I'll never find it again. <laughs> but anyway. And then there's on TikTok, which I'm hating these stitches, so out there coming. <sighs> Sorry. I apologize for putting you through this torture. They're on TikTok. There's um, and I haven't looked them up to see if they're on YouTube or not. I keep meaning to, but then I forget. Called the McAvoy Sisters, and they do like a little, almost like a history lesson kind of thing and show how to do the stitch and speak about where the stitch has come from and that's quite interesting Ooh. and they're just like three minute TikToks, so they're not very long whoops but if the government does away with TikTok, like they're talking about they're talking about banning it if they do that I have to admit, I'll be a little lost without it because it's kind of like instant gratification kind of thing. Like you see a three minute TikTok and I've learned some things on there. Hate to admit it, but I have learned some things on there. Oh, Martha. Whew. Okay. Let's try this again and be more intentional all right that is what i try to do with my stitching is be intentional debbie if you're out there i think these are the same stitches i already did 
too big. Um, did I comment on one of your Instagram posts? Because I commented on somebody named Debbie. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I found you correctly or not. So let me know. If I didn't, tell me what your Instagram name is, please. Or link it in a comment. So I can find you and see your hearts. Not that I've had much time to be on Instagram recently. This week has been, uh, we've gone somewhere every day. And that's pretty unusual for me. I don't, for the last three years anyway, I tend not to go out every day. It's just a lot. I hope you cannot hear the noise in the background. But the community has decided that they need to improve the golf course. And we live on the 10th tee of the golf course. So today, tomorrow, and Sunday, they're supposed to spend the weekend cutting down trees to, and this makes no sense to me, but they're having drainage issues. I don't know why they don't just leave it alone and call it a water hazard and call it good. Tony says all they have to do is fix the drain pipe, not do all this other work that they're doing. But they're spending all this money on trying to improve this spot at the 10th hole. So we are on, there's two tees where people tee off to get their ball to the 10th hole. And we are on the lower tee. And where they're supposed to be, we can see the hole from here, but it's pretty far away. But uh, they are supposed to be doing some sort of improvements for that. And we are not thrilled about it because there's going to be tree cutting. And then, now mind you, if we wanted to cut down trees for drainage issues or because they're a danger to the house falling on the house or whatever we're not allowed to do it unless the tree is dead and if the tree is already dead and there's a storm that comes up it's going to fall on your house I mean I live in a, a neighborhood called a community called Lake of the Woods there's a reason they call it Lake of the Woods there's two lakes here a big lake and a little lake and lots of trees. And the trees have caused more power outages. It's ridiculous. So, anyway, enough of that rant. They're going to be doing this work from now until... Well, they're cutting the trees now. I guess they won't... They won't do the rest of the work with the big equipment and stuff until May. So, there's that. Just when we'll want the windows open and have all the fresh air coming in. <laughs> and it'll be too noisy to open the windows and the doors. And probably too dirty. There'll be all kinds of dirt floating around everywhere. So, there's that. I'm sorry I'm so slow at this. I know the in and out version is way faster, but with this fabric, this backing fabric that I use, it's hard. See, I even had a hard time pulling that needle through. There are spots where it's way harder than others. 
I don't need you right now. Thank you. Go away. Yeah, yesterday was absolutely gorgeous. It was uh, 65 and sunny all day. It wasn't 65 all day. It was cool in the morning. But by the time we got done at the barn, which was probably about 10 after 12, um, we, I had gone with a long sleeve shirt plus another long sleeve shirt over that one plus a fleece vest, excuse me, plus a um, jacket over the top of that, sweatshirt jacket. We got there, I took off the sweatshirt jacket almost immediately. And within about five minutes of that, I took off the fleece vest. <laughs> got, got warm real quick in that sun. And um, it was lovely. And I think Sunday or Monday, the high is only going to be 49. So I was taking advantage of yesterday. I had the door open, the sliding door here in the, in the room I'm in. And it was absolutely lovely. So I am all about the sunshine. Which is sorely lacking today. But I think it was 10 or 11 years ago. And we had a couple of feet of snow. So <laughs> not complaining, mind you. I am not complaining. Because it could be way, 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 way worse. I mean, today's supposed to be like 54 or something. So that's not even that cold. So, not complaining. Not at all. If there's any good Irish movies on TV today, that would be fun. Watch an old Irish movie. I'm not going to be happy with that stitch, but that's okay. Yep, I knew it. It's not okay. <laughs> nope. Nope. And why isn't there an Italian day or a, a French day or, you know what I mean? I mean, I know it's because of the Irish saint or whatever he was. I don't think he was even a saint, to be honest. I don't know. My cousin is, no. My cousin is way more up on the Irish She's actually been to Ireland, so. To visit the old family homesteads. Something I have not ever done. So. Okay, Martha. Concentrate better, sweetie. You got this. Time for my cup of tea. I can feel it. I still have to show you yesterday's heart as well. I really like it. I'm glad I did what I did. 
but you'll see why I just ran out of time to do it on video. I mean, <laughs> talk about making my life interesting. I like to do that now and then. Okay. This still looks like a cactus to me. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. Oh, CD, OCD, 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 OCD. Mm -hmm. Absolutely nuts. I did have green on. I have gray on now, but I did have green on earlier. When we went out, not like anyone sees me though. No one that knows me. So blue was a good boy yesterday. When we drove up, I could see him over on the side in the back pasture. He was in the, over by the run-in shed. And then I thought I heard a voice. And it was the lady who is the employee at the barn. She's been with the barn owner for years and years and years. And she started walking towards the gate and told Blue to come on with her. And um, she came out and said she had just given him his, one of his vaccines. They got vaccines a couple weeks ago, and one of the vaccines has, it's a two-parter. So she was giving him his second vaccine. She was saying what a good boy he is. He is a good boy. He's the best boy. Um, he doesn't care. He doesn't care you're jabbing him with a, a needle. He doesn't care that you're giving him the worming paste to get rid of, you know, the bad stuff in his tummy. He, he doesn't care. If you have a treat on you and you, you, you give him treats afterwards, he doesn't care. He's the best boy. So he's just, he's better than a big puppy dog. Just literally. He is very happy to get out for a little while and eat the fresh grass that's growing around the barn. They have grass out in the pasture, but it's just not as good. Unfortunately, the barn owner does not um, do anything to improve the pasture. They don't rake the manure. There's a lot of horses out there, so... Um, they don't spread the manure around, which would help a lot. So in the barn area, once they once they get passed through the gate of the pasture, um, there's a lot more fresh grass and stuff. There's still some places where there's a bunch of manure, but that gets, you know, sort of worked into the ground more. So the horses really like to be out and eating that grass around the barn. You know, I'm not going to have enough thread just to finish this little bit, right? I'm just not going to make it. I'm going to have to use a whole strand, whole, whole two strands, whole another length of thread for probably three or four stitches. Oh well. That's the one thing about the back stitch. It uses a lot of thread. Because look. Whoa. Okay. Big gust of wind just came up. And my stitches are all slanted again. Oh, come on. Can I make it? Thread chicken? Are we going to make it? 
I might make it. I'd laugh if I had to do it for one stinking thread. Stitch, rather. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Nope, I lost it. <laughs> Darn. Uh, it's going to be tight now, because I'm going to have to cut this to get it back in the needle. Oh, boy. Nope, I missed. Okay. All right, go torturing you guys again. Come on. <laughs> Hold that bot. Talk amongst yourselves. Somehow just pulling it closer to my body helps. Yay! I did it! Come on. Behave. Oh, well. Can't get it through twice. That'll have to do. Alrighty, now all I have to do is sew the top side to the back side. Yay me! I think I'm going to use this, my favorite thread. My favorite green variegated. I'm going to use a long one. Because it sort of has that light green background on it. And I thought this looked a lot like grass. Doesn't it? Looks a lot like grass. This is from um this is from a fat quarter package I have that's oh, I have no idea how old that is. <laughs> Honestly. It's probably pretty old. Try and get close to the thread, Martha. When you're trying to cut it. Okay. I'm going to do, I'm going to do three. I think I'll do three. <laughs> Should have prepped this thread ahead of time too. Yay, that wasn't so bad. Okay. Will it fit through this needle? That's the question. Yes. I'm going to have to get rid of this needle pretty soon. I'm sure it's getting dull. That might be part of my problem. Okay. Now you're going to see how I struggle with the... Should I trim that down? Probably some, huh? Probably a little bit. Okay. And Tony's having his afternoon snack. I can hear him cutting up his apple. These scissors are so big. Sorry, concentrating. Hoping I don't make a mess of the front. No way to fix it if I do, except just cut the heart smaller. Okay. Yay. 
pulled up my sleeves for this one. <laughs> All right. So. Yeah. Now, this is where I always mess it up. So I'm going to try something different. I'm bury the knot in here. Excuse me. All right, so I'm going to go down the back. Oops. Down the back. Nope, I did it wrong. <laughs> this is where I always mess it up. And see, I'm going the wrong direction, too. All right. Everybody out of my way. I need the space. Okay. Sorry, a lot of moving around, I know. All right, the only way I know how to do this the right way is to go from the back to the front. So I'm gonna do that. There. <laughs> See? Somehow it always comes out, out right if I do back to front. <sighs> Getting it started is such a problem for me. Red untwist because I find I have way less problems with it when I do that on a regular basis. haven't gotten to make my flour tortillas yet. I need to make some flour tortillas. I bought some organic whole wheat flour and I haven't tried it with that yet. I'll probably mix it with white flour and some other flour I have and see how they come out. All right, you're getting too big again. Too fast, too far apart. Whoops, come back here. Now the only problem with me doing this stitch like this around the edge is if this were to be used for a patch, I don't know how somebody would attach it unless they machine sewed it on or hand sewed it on and didn't use this stitch to hand sew it on. So I don't know. This wool is irritating, this wool mat, irritating the bejesus out of me. <laughs> My arms do not like it. I don't do well with wool. <sighs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. This is taking so long, guys. I hope I'm giving you some ideas, though, 
fun things to do. I mean, concepts are getting harder and harder to come up with to do something different. And I've done a heart in just about every color. I do have one idea that I'm working on um, that I have not shown you yet, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be crazy about the outcome, but I have started trying to put it together. It's a bit complicated, and I'm not sure I'll be able to do that one on camera. Um, I guess I could, and I could start it, show you what I'm doing, and then go off camera, do most of it, and then finish it up on camera. Um, so that's a, a possibility. going to be kind of interesting not a new not a new concept it's actually kind of an old concept that has been used for quilts oops darn <laughs> Yay. You know I'm trying to make it to there, right? Without having to switch threads, but that would mean the other strand strands? The other section of thread would make it the other halfway around, but <laughs> I'm making my life complicated again. Like I said, nothing new there. Okay. Yay, I did it. And I'm just going to go through here and back through that loop, maybe. And... Okay. So when we went to the the farm co-op yesterday. We picked up black oil sunflower seeds for the birds. And we looked for horse treats for blue, but they didn't have any more. We were giving him a low sugar treat. since he's getting older. And um, I saw a newspaper, which I can't reach right at the moment, but it had an article and a photograph on the front and a, and a headline that, now let's see, I gotta get this started again. that in there okay and then we're gonna come up from the back throw that thread around there see if we can get it started the right way and um, so it was about natural dyeing so I start reading the article and come to find out this woman who used to work at uh, Monticello, she was the master gardener there. No. She had taught this class last weekend, which irritated the 
heck out of me because I could have gone to the class if I knew about it. I would have gone to the class had I known about it. And I'm not sure how to find out that these things are happening around me. But the most interesting part of this whole thing is that the class was given at this gardens that is directly across the street from where we keep Blue, where he's boarded. I was so annoyed <laughs> that I missed this class. I would have been all over that. So I'm going to, I have not had a chance to read the article yet. I'm going to find out if the gardens hired the woman or the woman offered the class at the gardens to give the class as a place to do it at or how, uh, who organized it, I guess is what I'm getting at. And figure out if there's any chance they're going to do this class again. <clears throat> Excuse me for the frog in my throat. And see, I mean, if they were to give it again and it's not in the middle of the heat of summer, I would love to take the class or find out if this woman is doing these classes anywhere else. So, but I was really highly annoyed that I was familiar with the location of the class. It's not that far from home. Um, yeah, it takes us an hour to get there, but, you know, that's not that far from home considering where we live. And um, it was a one-day class, at least as far as I could tell. Like I said, I haven't read the article yet. So... Pretty frustrated that I missed it. But, you know, they don't put the article out until after the class is given. If I had seen it, you know, if I'd seen something prior to that. So, yeah. And Tony asked me, he said, and, and this is a really interesting question. How do you find out if this stuff is going on near you? I don't know. Because natural dying is one of those things that's not everybody does. I mean, people don't even know it exists. Now, I will say that I know that natural dyes don't always um, hold up to time and sunlight and so forth, as well as commercial dyes do. I know that for a fact, um, but it would be fun to know how to do it with some of the stuff. So I'm going to read the article when I'm done doing this and see if I can figure out where else this lady teaches. I'll look her up. Hopefully she has a website or something. And see. I'm going to make it. Look at that. I didn't think I was going to make it. Oops. One more. One. Yay. It worked. And we're at 59 minutes and 25 seconds. <laughs> when I get this not done, we'll be at 60 minutes. Imagine that. I didn't think I could do this in an hour. Phew. I think I've been holding my breath part of the time. All right. So... That is day 24. 20. I know that looks like a Z. Four. Woohoo! I feel like we're counting to Christmas. 
four times. <laughs> so there it is. What do you think? So that's for St. Patrick's Day. This was yesterday's. Now do you see why I couldn't get it all done on camera? <laughs> yeah. That was yesterday's. And I drew the circles on with different size items. Um, and then just backstitched all around them. And this is hand-dyed fabric from when we were dyeing fabrics a year or two ago. So anyway, that was yesterday's. That was 23. This is 24. So thank you for joining me. I hope you're working on something special for yourself. And having fun. And being creative. And maybe inspired. <laughs> I love you all for being here and sticking it out with me. Um, give me a thumbs up, leave comments below, please. Good, bad, or otherwise. Um, and hopefully good. <laughs> and you have yourself a great day and a great St. Patrick's Day and a great weekend. And I hope you are safe and well and happy. So you all take care. We'll see you next time. Bye.